now that we have completed the data entry let us see how to generate the etds return file from the rpu program at the bottom right corner you can see the button create file if we click on that the program will validate the data entered by us in different screens like form chalan annexure 1 and annexure 2 if there are no data entry mistakes then the system will give a message that the file validation is successful it will also generate the etds return file now let us click the button create file it is asking you the folder where the system generated file should be stored let us leave the default folder etds rpu as it is so let us click on ok now you got the message file validation successful it means we have prepared our etds return correctly and without any mistakes on the other hand if you had committed some mistakes in the preparation of etds return then instead of this message you will get the message errors found during validation the system will also generate an error file listing out the errors committed by you in that case you have to correct all those errors then again generate this file by clicking the create file button okay only when you get the message file validation successful then only your return preparation is complete fine now this message also says upload file and return statistics report generated at c colon etds rpu this upload file is the etds return file which has to be submitted to nsdl or the tin facilitators we will see that upload file after some time now before that we have to close this message now that your etds return is complete you can close this rpu also now you can close this rpu by clicking the x button at the top right corner okay let me close rpu by clicking x it is asking you do you wish to save the data before exiting the application if you remember we had saved our data only up to annexure 1 earlier now that the etds return is complete and correct we have to save it for future reference and guidance so we have to click on yes and save the return let me do that it will take you to this window here you choose the folder etds return data by double clicking it in this you can see the file form 24q 4q 2007-8 which we had saved earlier okay choose the same file name click save it is asking you the file with this name already exists do you want to replace it we have to give yes here because the file which we saved earlier has data only up to annexure 1 now the file which we are going to save will be having data up to annexure 2 and it will also be complete without any mistakes ok so we have to give yes here you get the message file saved successfully now this saved file can be used as a guidance when you want to prepare the return for the next quarter at that time you can open this file and see how you filled up different columns fine also it can help you to know the details of the employees the tds done their pan etc after five or six months when you want to know those details okay so now we have to click ok here you will come back to this screen and if you close this you will go back to your desktop and from the desktop we have to go to the folder etds rpu to see the upload file and the return statistics report so you double click on my computer double click on c colon double click on etds rpu now in the folder etds rpu you can see the file 24qrq4.feu okay now this is the file which is generated by the program 
Please note the extension .feu. This file has to be copied in a CD and given to NSDL. The written statistics file you can see here. It is in the name 24QRQ4 just below the FU file. Okay. You can double click it and see the statistics. Let me double click it. Here you see the name of the director comes TAN then form number, form type, assessment year, financial year, for which quarter, all these data come here. Now, the number of Chalan transfer which is 2. You remember we entered 2 rows in Chalan. Okay. So, the number 2 comes here. Then, number of directory records, 5. You remember in Annexure 1, there are 5 rows. So, this 5 comes from there. The number of salary detail records, 4. In Annexure 2, we entered 4 records. So, this 4 comes from there. The total TDS, 32,816. All these figures come from our return. You can see the PAN also. Number of valid PAN, 9. You remember in Annexure 1, there are 5 rows in which we gave the PAN. And similarly in Annexure 2, there are 4 rows in which we gave the PAN. So, totally in 9 places we gave the PAN. So, the 9 comes here. So, this is the return statistics which you have to take a printout fine based on this return statistics report you have to fill up form 27a the form 27a will have similar columns ok by filling up those columns you have to take the figures from this return statistics report fine now to NSDL you have to submit three things the file generated by the program namely 24qrq4.feu this file you have to copy in a CD then the form 27a is a manual form duly signed by the DDO ok then a printout of this written statistics report all these three should be submitted to NSDL then only your ETDS return preparation and submission will be over ok one more thing I want to tell you don't try to open the .fu file Okay, you can't open it by double clicking it or you can't open it even by this RPU program. Fine. That file you have to simply copy in a CD and give it to NSDL. That's all. Fine. Now, you also know the naming convention of this file. See, the file is generated by the system. Now, we have prepared the return for the fourth quarter in form 24Q. So, the file name is given as 24qrq4.feu. Suppose it is for the first quarter, then the file name will be 24qrq1.feu and so on. Suppose it is for the return 26q, then instead of 24q, it will be 26q, qr1, qr2 like that. Okay. Now, with this, I am coming to the end of this demo. Hope you will find this demo useful in the preparation of ETDS return in the coming quarters. Wishing you all the best.